the Lone Ranger. There's nothing more obviously American and iconic, is there, than the cowboy? Certainly from a Brit, we sort yeah. of trot around with big stirrups and big hats, and you guys leap onto horses backwards and all this kind of stuff. Is there extra pressure as an American entering that iconic world? Uh, no, but it was funny. Uh, we did a thing called Cowboy Boot Camp where they sent all the actors to a cowboy camp for him and made sure everybody could stay on a horse and handle a gun without shooting a foot off and, you know, basically all the essential skills. And it was funny watching all the Brits get on the horses, you know, because they would post and they would do the English riding and all that. And all the cowboys were like, what the hell is he doing? Like, <laughs> That's the funniest looking shit I've ever seen, you know? Just really funny. And they're like, no, no, no. Think about it. You got to slouch. You really got to get down in there. What is cowboy school like? Because it, it sounds slightly ridiculous. Is it because it's a lost art now in Hollywood? You know, the, because Westerns used to be, yeah, well, every studio used to do a Western, but now they kind of don't do them anymore. I think the Y chromosome is actually shrinking because <laughs> those guys are just real men. And it seems like, at least living in Hollywood, everyone else is just a little bit soft, a little bit almost androgynous. So you go to cowboy camp where you have guys literally just abusing the hell out of you and then making fun of you the whole time. And then you know that you're getting better when they stop making fun of you. And then you know that you're good when they start making fun of you again. Yeah. You know, it's just a really harsh environment, but it was a lot of fun. Because I, I did a stopover in Austin once and yeah, everyone yeah. was wearing the big hats. I yeah, couldn't yeah, believe yeah. it. I didn't think this actually happened in real life. Well, you but... know what they say, the bigger the hat, the smaller the range. All right. <laughs> yeah. But if they really, it's real men, isn't it? Did you did yeah. you get did you feel more manly when you came out of it? Yeah, Do you I walk mean, about I, I with all the strut had, now? I had more calluses. I think I was a little bit bow legged from all the time on a horse, and just kind of had that cowboy swagger a little bit. Obviously, the Lone Ranger's got swagger, but it also when he was created, sort of you know, 70, 80 years ago now, yeah, he yeah. was a bit more square jawed, a bit more square, cheesy. Yeah, you yeah. can't get away with that no. right now. Why? Why is that? Why do audiences crave this realism audience, over escapism? Now? The audience is more discerning now. You know, especially if they're going to go sit for two hours and watch a movie, they want to see something with dimension to it. They don't want to see something flat and boring. And unfortunately, the Lone Ranger, as it was as a TV show was just that, it was a little bit two-dimensional. You had a good guy who was just a good guy. And in this movie, you have a hero, not necessarily a superhero, but a guy who struggles with his decisions, who knows the right thing and the wrong thing to do, and makes the right decision, even though he knows he's probably gonna get hit in the face, and he hates getting hit in the face because it hurts, but he's still gonna do it. And that's, you see that struggle, and you see the guy who just can't let it slide. This is the question you're gonna hate, because you do a lot of these junkets, the, when you're promoting, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah. I don't you have to say it, yeah, but you know, we have to ask it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was good. it was good, it was great working with him. Uh, he's a terrific actor and an even better human being. One of the nicest actors I've ever had the chance to work with. Um, and sequel hopes, because I mean, it's fair to say it's had mixed reviews in yeah. the States, yeah, yeah. Uh, but obviously the, these movies now are international and you've got to look at all the other territories, but yeah. Disney wouldn't plow this much money into something <laughs> without looking at doing more than one. I mean, do you hope you get the chance to carry on this story? We'll see, I mean, I'm, I'm still pretty beat up from the first one. Uh, it was, it was a great experience and, you know, it's up to Disney, ultimately. If they want to make another one, they'll say, let's make another one. And if Gore says yes, and Jerry says yes, and Johnny says yes, and they all say, I'll come back, then I wouldn't miss the opportunity to do it again. You'd strap that mask on again. Heck yeah.